So, oh yeah, cool. So that was like the one plus two system. Oh no, the yeah. the hour. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, because um, the thing is, I've already kind of made it past the well, because I've got the John O'Gallagher book. Yeah. Because uh, I, 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 yeah, I've, I kind of vaguely know like how the. Well, I don't know how all the system works, but like, or well, how well, it I, I'm a, I, I, I got a piano. I got a piano in the house. Oh, um, yeah. This is this is one thing that. Um, Hater shot says on his uh, website when he writes about it um, was it has to be kind of you know you can explain it all you want but it has to be kind of heard so yeah it's, uh, so one plus two sounds like that right mm. and then in you know and then you can treat it like you know we have like when we think of normal uh, transformational uh, actions that we can do with like a triad. You know, like a major triad. You can, of course, can play it in first inversion and second version. Um, mm. In this system, you call them rotations. So you can also. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. So then, and you can, you know, play that harmonically or melodically or how you do it. So uh, the scale, the row that goes with that particular hour, it's a pretty simple one. There's only uh, six in trans versions of it, six transpositions. Oh, okay, so, so, so what, what, what key are you in there? You in C? Well, I'm starting on a C. C, so it should so, be C, D flat, E, that'd be the one plus two. Two D flat, E flat, right? Yeah, and then the and then, two plus and, and one would be the other side, right? So, so, so here's the thing. Um, it's a, you're, there, this is an asymmetrical uh, hour, right? It's because you have two plus one or one plus two. And it's just like one plus two would be minor and two plus one would be major. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can, um, so, and, the, and every hour, the rows for these hours are steered by other hours, other in, you know. So this one is steered by D, C, D flat, F sharp, G, which gives you a one plus five. Yeah, well, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one plus five. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm screwing up. Yeah. There, that's what it is. C, D, F sharp, G sharp. That's it. So that's a two plus four plus two. Oh, okay. Right. So just like it's the same as, as like when we when we you know if you're practicing like say thirds major scale C major scale. Right? Yeah. Most people just think of that as a series of notes and a shape or a pattern. But how I like to think of it is we have our basic uh root movement of the scale. Yeah. And then you are imposing a shape on each of those on each of those notes. So I'm imposing the shape of a third and yeah. then moving up the, the scale to have that, right? Mm. So here you have this this uh, uh, two plus four shape. And so what Peter Schott does is he creates a mirror thing of one plus two plus one then one plus two two plus oh one. yeah okay yeah cool right? yeah so so so, yeah. so it's a way of kind of yeah just yeah like making up for the notes to make it symmetrical so say now if it's totally symmetrical for the minor one yeah because because yeah, I, I think i remember checking this out so so i remember my workings out it was like uh like take that shape take it up a tritone yeah and then, then to fill in the gaps, it'd be so then because we're not for in C, we've not covered D. Yeah, and just kind of fill those in. Yeah, well, I mean, not maybe every maybe hour that's has, another way. Well, yeah, I mean, not every hour has the same intervallic relationships, though. That's the thing. It's like there are yeah. two hundred and twenty-three rows, twelve, oh, wow. 12 hours. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lot of material to get under your fingers and in your ears. Um, and I'm nowhere near through it all. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, 
I'm pretty good with two hours for sure. And I'm semi familiar with maybe another three after that. And then there's the, um, the ones towards the end are all kind of, uh, the, you know, shapes that we're familiar with our, you know, 10 is just uh, diminished tetrads. Um, 11 is major minor triads and 12 is augmented. So, you know, if, okay. you know, for example, if you spent any time practicing triad pairs or, or hexatonics, um, in, in jazz, in a contempt, you know, you know, that yeah, sound, yeah. that, that sound, I mean, like that Coltrane was working with on in the fifties, like on kind of blue and whatever, um, you know, that, that all falls into the world of hour 11 of the tone clock so yeah. that, that's that's just to give an example of how like vast it is but if you're if you're familiar with if you if you're if you're familiar with that concept um and you've spent some time with triad pairs and you know and you think about how to practice them and how to work on them and how to think about them it, it doesn't take a lot of it's not a big stretch to apply that conceptual framework to these other shapes because yeah. it's a lot of the same idea at least in terms of like um technical practice or, or whatever but but the 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 rows themselves are all governed by other rows uh other other hours you know so this one happens to have a tritone but they don't all necessarily oh yeah sure sure yeah oh cool then yeah oh brilliant 